What's up, Star Wars fans and action figure collectors? Here we've got number 79 of Star Wars, the six inch black series, Dryden Voss from Solo, a Star Wars story. Uh, this is a really good figure and, and considering the change that had to happen during production, uh, they had to get Paul Bettany in to do this role because uh, they couldn't get the original actor um, to come in and film his scenes. I come blanking on his name, so they got uh, Dryden in they got Paul Bettany in to redo all the scenes, basically recreating the character from scratch almost. Um, obviously still still running the Crimson Dawn, but uh, yeah. And as far as we know, Hasbro take 18 months to get these figures turned around. So to turn around with this one pretty quickly is, is quite an achievement. Although probably it is 18 months since that stage of development where the change happens. So who knows, the insiders do. Um, we don't, but this is a great figure. I've been really looking forward to having this one on the back there. The public face of the Crimson, Crimson Dawn Crime Syndicate, Dryden Voss, is a contradiction, a pitiless enforcer known as a gangster of wealth and taste. His good manners shouldn't be mistaken for weakness, though. He can change from generous host to ruthless killer in a moment, and we did see that as he uh, took out one of the Imperial guys at the start. He just cut him up with these little little mini blade things I can't think what they're called but he's a good looking figure I, re I really do dig this figure um, I haven't tried the colour change feature yet I'm, looking for, I'm gonna go stick him in the freezer afterwards so you can see the scars down his face which I believe are for his species which is not quite human but humanoid still uh, in cold weather or cold temperatures they will flare up to a bright red as well as the ends of the blades here of Dryden's weapons but he's a really cool looking really cool looking dude he's got this sort of neck collar armor thing going on here and he's Jacket. Nicely dressed. A bit of a gentleman. Standard black looking pants, black boots. There's almost a pinstripe sort of dealio with the pants. It looks quite good. Again, the knee joints sculpted nicely into the pants there, so they've sort of nicely camouflaged. Same with the elbow joints here on the on the jacket sleeves, nicely camouflaged in there. Hasbro doing a really good job of that. The head sculpt itself looks really good. Really nice likeness to Paul Bettany. And he will be signing at Star Wars Celebration, which is fantastic for Paul Bettany fans. If you're a fan of his other work, of course, Vision in the Avengers. But that's a great likeness. I really liked his character a lot. He was a good, he was a good figure too. Oh, he's got his wrist communicator there. I've just spotted. Looks good. So articulation-wise, he's got a ball hinge in the head, ball hinge shoulders, elbows, wrists, but torso there. Hinges at the hips, thighs thigh swivel, double joint knees, and the hinged ankles. So great movement for this guy. If you want to try and get him swinging these things around. Again, can't remember what they're called. But they're awesome. So that's Dryden Voss. Such a cool looking figure. I'm really, really happy with this one. Uh, yeah, definitely let me know what you think in the comments below. I'd be interested to hear what you guys think of Dryden Voss. So thank you again for watching. Until my next video, may the force be with you.